Hey everybody, welcome back to more Undertale for the PC, and I'm the only Python for This, of course, is a slice of gaming. So the last time we left off, we made friends with Undyne, and we are supposed to be going back to that hot-looking area. I assume it's called Hotland. But there's a place that I actually missed out on, and I am shocked that we did not get to experience this before. This is the Temi Village. Welcome to it. Hoi! Welcome to Tem Village! Or Tem Village, I guess. The music fits. Hoi! I'm Temi! And this is my friend Temi! I see. Hoi! I'm Temi! And this my friend Temi! I assume they all say the same thing. Just... Oh, don't forget my friend. I see. Hi! I'm Bob. Oh, Bob. You better be careful. You better inherit the same name as everyone else. Rich history of Tem. I see, so it's just Tem riding on the back of a dragon. Good. Hoi! You should check out Tem Shop. So the one thing I know about the Temi Village is that everyone here is a bunch of idiots, so you can actually sell your items here if you want to. A wa 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 Humans, such a... Cute! Good. Yeah, yeah, I agree. should check Tem Shop. Let's check Tem Shop then. Hoi, welcome to the Tem Shop! Oh my, that face. How are the eyebrows not working exactly? Moving with the face. Oh, there they go. Perfect. Hoi, I'm Temi. Say hello. Hoi, I'm Temi. I see. I can... I understand this for sure. I'm Temi. Okay. Use Tems have a deep history. A deep history. I'm surprised that wasn't misspelled. Yeah, yeah. Go to Tem shop. I think we're here. So this is amazing in every way. So we might as well um, sell some of our things that we don't need anymore, including the mandana. Whoa! You got mandanas! Hin, I've got to have mandanas, but I've got to pay for college. Hin, Tem always want mandanas. Uh, yeah, I'll sell. Oh, that face of excitement. Wow. Okay, uh, might as well sell this gross bandage then. Sure. Uh, toy knife, that can also go. The faces. <laughs> each time. Tough glove. Uh, we don't need the ballerina shoes anymore either. Um, I think that's about it that I have left to sell. I already took out everything that I wanted to. Let's see what they have for sale. So we have um, Tem Flake heals 2 HP food of Tem. We have Tem Flake on sale. Um, why is the same thing on here twice? Three times. One of them is expensive, and one of them you can uh, pay for ten. Uh, ten pay for college, college ten pursue higher education. I have a feeling these things need it. Um, why don't we just buy one of these for one gold? So sure. Thanks, purchase. You're welcome. Let's get out of here, boy. Good. Okay. This has been an experience so far. Tem, watch egg. Egg will hatch. Tem, proud parent. I have a feeling you're not actually the parent of that egg. Statue of Tem, very fa famous. Very. It's hard boiled. Oh, so it'll never hatch. But Tem heard humans allergic to Tems. That okay. Tem understand. Tem also allergic to Tem. What? Um. Good. Hoives! Mushroom dance. Mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? It symbolizes my inner torment, trapped here by my hi-fi. My struggle to pull away, my struggle to escape, but alas, to no avail. Can we watch that from the side? There we go. Now we get the true experience of mushroom dancing. And then... Oh. That's not actually its face, I see. If only I could see the world above. But even if the barrier was open, how would I leave? Oh, he's gonna be left behind here. Feeling of being watched. Yeah, that's definitely true. So this has been an experience, I suppose. What does this save point say? You feel something. You're filled with determination. Oh, I get it. I see. Is there anything? I'll just do a quick check here in my box that I have to uh, do. I'm just going to keep the stick and the Temi Flakes because we can. So uh, that's been an experience, I suppose. So there's the Temi Village. 
I'm now going to uh, warp myself, quote unquote, I suppose, aka edit out the fact that I'm going to walk all the way to back where we gave the water to Undyne, so I'll be right back. Alright, so I am all the way back here, and this thing has here to greet us. Oh, jeez. Oh, c c c c c c c c c I was thirsty, so I came over from the waterfall to get a drink. Is that a clam? I'm thinking. It looks like it, but wow, I'd never seen a clam personalized in this way. Sure, we might as well take a cup of water and uh, just take it with us. The water evaporated from the heat. Oh, that was quick. The cup evaporated too, somehow. Perfect. We'll deal with these two things later. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this. You're filled with determination. Alright, so let's, let's, like I said, deal with this after. Oh, something I totally forgot to do too. Let's give Papyrus a call because uh, since Undyne's house is on fire... Hey! You should come to Snowden and visit me! No way! Come to Snowden and visit me! What? We're in the same location? Wrong! I'm standing slightly to the right. Hmm. Maybe I'll go and visit them uh, later. But at least we have some method of transportation, it seems like, if we ever need to uh, backtrack, I suppose. Should I go in here first? Hmm. Maybe not. Let's actually deal with these two, I guess. Yup. Sorry, Undyne. Like, told us that we were totally a- there were totally a human in the area. So, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now? Nyag, even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. Okay. What? I see there's nothing going on here. Like, no way you're getting by us. But, between you and me, I think you could go through that creepy lab over there. Between you, me, and my bro here, I mean. I tell him all my secrets. Hey, no loitering. Like, just kidding, I don't care. Like, loiter your heart out. Okay, so I guess there's no other dialogue for this uh, rabbit guard, I guess. And he's just the silent, stoic type. So, I guess we have no choice than to go through the creepy lab, then. Okay, so we are being clearly watched. It's you? Question mark? There's some strange interference, so I can't make any phone calls, I see. It's too dark to see near the walls. But I can see perfectly fine. I can. So I can't seem to investigate anything yet until I turn the lights on. Hi. How's it going? Oh my god! I didn't expect you to show up so soon! I haven't showered, I'm barely dressed, it's all messy and... But she, you are dressed though. Um... Hiya! I'm Dr. Alphys, I'm Asgore's royal scientist. But, but, uh... I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on the screen really makes you root for them. So, uh, now that I, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Um, well, actually, uh, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um, anti-anti-human combat features? Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um... Now he's unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? <laughs> eh. But, um, hopefully we won't run into him. Cue him running in right now? Or... Did you hear something? Wow, he sounds pretty huge and menacing. This is going to be an interesting battle, I guess. Oh no! Here he comes. 
Oh, yes. Welcome, beauties. Oh. To today's quiz show. Yay. Oh, boy, I can already tell it's going to be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for a wonderful contestant. Hey. Never played before, gorgeous? No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or I die. Ah, uh, yeah. Understandable. Metaton attacks! Wow, so, uh... Here we are with Metaton. Nice to meet you, killing machine. Let's let's just cry. Screaming against the ru is against the rules. Let's start with an easy one. What is the correct prize for answering correctly? Uh, oh, Alphys, thank you for giving me the answer. Right, sounds like you get it. The quiz show continues. Metaton attack. Wow, that defends. His metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Here's your direct prize. What is the king's full name? Oh, we know this. We know this without you giving me the answer. It's Asgore. Great. The quiz show continues. I guess we don't need to uh, check him anymore. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Metal, usually? Oh, metal and magic. I see. Too easy for you, huh? This is an interesting twist, I suppose. Here's another easy one for you. Oh, my. I am... Wow. Okay. Thank you, Alphys. This is one of those questions that I am not reading all of that. The quiz show continues. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Oh. Well, at least Alphys is here to just give us all the answers to everything, so this isn't even really that hard of a quiz show. Let's play memory game. So you think the answer to this question is Froggit, but it's actually Metaton for some reason, because he tricked you, I guess. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Oh, from a scale between yes to yes, I would say, heck yeah! Great answer, I love it. Here's a simple one. How many letters are in the name Metaton? Of course that was easy for you. Time to break up the big guns. In the dating simulation video game Mew Mew Kissy Cutie. Oh, oh, I know this one. It's Snail Cream Pie in the fourth chapter. Everyone goes to the beach and she buys ice cream for all her friends, but it's snail flavored and she's the only one that wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship and... Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? This would be awkward if it was the human. But let's try to guess that it's Undyne. See, Alphys, I told you it was obvious. Even the human figured it out. Yes, yeah, she scrawls her name in the margins of her notes. She names program variables after her. She even writes stories of them together, sharing a domestic life. Probability of crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. Well, well. With Dr. Alphys helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just a pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Okay, bye. Well, that was a thing that happened. <laughs> exactly. Good notes of this. It's a bag of dog food. It's half full. Why does she have that, though? The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Oh, this is where the soda comes in. I see. So the crush is mutual, then. Wait, wait. Let me give you my phone number. Then, maybe, if you need help, I could... What? Where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Wait a second, please. Wow, there's like screaming too. Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the no Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends, hee hee. Hee hee. Good. 
Yup. I'm going to the bathroom. Let's call her immediately. Dimensional box A? What? Oh, this is really useful! I have two storage things now! That's awesome! So you never gave me your phone number exactly. You're on Alphys' lab? Is she there? Hey, tell her I said hi, okay? And tell me how she's doing. And tell me if she needs anything. And... Wait, no. Don't ask any of that. Okay, sounds good to me. It's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Oh, okay, so that was the same puzzle that Papyrus tried on me with the weird rules about there being piranhas and stuff. Seems like the notes to something, but all that it's written in is chicken scratch. It seems like a wafter to a game, or... Or what? It's a beat-up figure of a female human with cat ears. Sounds like something Alphas would like. A garbage can, but it's pretty cute. It's a video feed of your location. So she just has a camera... Oh, is that why the cameras were there, too? I guess I can't go here. The space be behind the wall is only a few feet wide. Alright. Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. It's a bathroom sign for dinosaurs, I guess. Oh, I should probably not head out yet. Oh, she's out now. So now can I go in the bathroom? I guess not. So it's just one of those more continuation of uh, games that don't actually let you go to the bathroom, I suppose. Scientific books. They seem very dusty. All these books are labeled human history. You look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. What are you talking about? That happens all the time. VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons. They're all labeled human history. All of these books are labeled human history. Let's read another one. You look inside the book. It's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Again, happens all the time. But this one. You look inside a book. It's a comic book. A hideous android is running to school with toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. It doesn't strike you as very accurate. So, my guess is... Okay. This basically confirms it that uh, Alphys is a little bit of an anime nerd, I think. Pink goop strips from the strange machine. What could it possibly be used for? I don't even know. Cup of something, I guess. Looks like Alphys' work table. Seems dusty. I like how she has a conveyor belt when she's lazy, too. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. Perhaps one day when she goes on that date. There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. An incredible invention! When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy-to-draw box. Wow, okay. Good to know that, um... That there's a, a good way of doing... Uh, I guess, uh, artwork for a game. Very quick and easy. What? You're in her room? Get out of there. Unless, um, she invited you. No way! That did not happen. Alright, so I do know about one Easter egg in particular that I've seen of... Stop that? Probably stop that crazy thing, I assume, so... Yeah, cute little Easter egg. It's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap it says, thank you for making my dreams come true. Oh, how nice. So maybe one day, Metaton will be an actor, I guess. Where did she go, anyways? She's not in the bathroom, so she's just somewhere, I guess. Let's see, I guess we might as well. Oh, Alpha says update status. Just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight with the human. No. Sadness. Is there anything these two have to say now? Neither of us know anything about Hotland. So we'll just have to combine our power. Zero plus zero is still zero. Yeah, but it's a big zero. Well, thank you for your help, you two. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her a bit about later. About it later, I see. Wow. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. Cat face. Wow, this place is uh, interesting. So I'm gonna actually end this part off here. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.